You want to hear something annoying? Yep, that is the crazy seatbelt chime on this new Land Cruiser, which we're going to fix today in this video, along with adding some customized features that are hidden inside this Land Cruiser's memory. So to fix the seatbelt chime and unlock all these hidden features, we're going to use this. This is the Carista Evo. Now, I use their older version on my Tundra Platinum, my third gen. This one, a little bit nicer. So link and discount code will be in the description, guys. And you can also see if your car is supported. We're going to use it on this and the Tundra in this video to see what's going on with that. But all this does is plug into your OBD2 port. You download an app onto your phone, and then you can see all the hidden things that Toyota does not want you to do, diagnostics and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and plug it in, and I'll show you guys how the app works. So right down here at the footwell of the Land Cruiser is your OBD2 port. You're gonna go ahead and put it in, and now we are flashing blue, so it's ready to connect. All right, so we are in the app. I'll put it here on the screen for you all. You can see that there is a garage. We are connected to the Land Cruiser right now, and if we tap over here to the left, we could see customize, diagnose, service, and also live data. Now, customize, will this void our warranty? No, this will not void our warranty. And the cool thing too is after you customize it, if you take this Carista adapter out, uh, your subscription, you know, it ends. Whatever you do to customize your vehicle, it'll still be on your vehicle. But we're gonna go ahead and go into customize because I want to get rid of the dings and warnings and you'll notice here on the Land Cruiser that each thing is individual. So each seat, my seat, passenger seats, all those. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the seatbelt warning for driver, click disabled, go ahead and save. Now it is saying that I am changing something uh, that may have legal and or safety implications. FBI, open up! It's just this thing does it so fast, whether you're backing out of your driveway or you're just simply moving the car around in your uh, driveway or wherever you're at, right? This thing, just the moment you go in a drive, it's like bing, 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 yelling at you all the time. While I do not recommend driving with your vehicle with your seatbelt off, so let's say again, you have to move the vehicle real fast around your neighborhood, private road, something like that, right? You live on a farm, you don't need it on all the time. Seatbelt is off. It is yelling at me to put it on. You guys can see the little seatbelt sign right there, but we obviously have no audible chime. Uh, this particular Land Cruiser does not have uh, enhanced engine sound, basically the ESE. However, my Tacoma does, and a new vehicle that we're getting also has this. So I will showcase that for you guys uh, in the future on that vehicle. So if we go into trunk here and go ahead and click that, this button right down here, if I have to press it, I'll press it right now. That opens up the back. So you have to long hold and press. You know that you're about to press that button uh, to open up the back. Trunk front seat switch button, which is what I did. It has a long press. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to short press. Press save, does its thing. Just gonna press it, press and it opens up. So that's how quickly this car is learning what it needs to do. Very cool thing here that I've already done for you guys is open windows and sunroof via long press on the remote. So now with my remote, when I long press unlock with the vehicle, let's say it's a hot day here in Florida, the whole everything <laughs> will just roll down on this vehicle, allowing all that hot air to escape out of the Land Cruiser. So Tons of stuff if you guys wanna dive deep into this that you can do. Now the vehicle is currently on right now uh, on accessory mode, so the check engine light is on because the car is not fully running, the sensors aren't connecting to certain things because we're just in accessory mode. So if we go to diagnose here, we're gonna see that there are some faults detected. So nothing is wrong with the car right now, right? It's just it's in accessory mode, things aren't running fully, so the vehicle is thinking that there are some uh, faults going on. So you could see all this in real time. It is scanning the vehicle uh, to see what is wrong with it. So we'll go ahead and go into ABS. It gives you the code and everything for it. Steering angle sensor. If we wanted to clear out that code, we could to see if it pops back up, but again, the car is not on. Uh, body and convenience things, right? All of these issues the car thinks that it's having right now because the check engine light is on. And then service. If you want to uh, change some of the service stuff, like your tire pressure sensors, we're loading these. It is reading the exact tire pressure that it is. Our spare tire is at 50 PSI. All the rest of the tires are around 32 to 33 PSI. Detailed ECU uh, info and even emissions tests too. If you guys live in like California or something like that where you have to do this, I'm in Florida. 
We don't care about emissions. I guess it rains too much here. I have no idea. But all that stuff is ready for an emissions test, which is pretty sweet. And then as we go down to our live data. So if we were driving the vehicle right now, it would give you your wheel speed. Obviously we are parked in my driveway. So it is saying zero miles per hour engine data, all of that stuff. This is cool if you are towing as well. You could see your RPMs, you could see your coolant temperature, or maybe it's a hot day out in Moab with your Land Cruiser. We could see all of that stuff uh, right there. And same with transmission data. Let's say you're towing with your Land Cruiser, right? 75 degrees is what my Land Cruiser temperature is at. It's 74 degrees outside right now. So that checks out. So I'm not driving my car, but you want to make sure if you're towing with your Land Cruiser, because these could tow upwards of 6,000 pounds, right? That we are not overcooking that transmission. So this is what I kind of skipped on the Land Cruiser. Once you go into it, it's a little bit slow of a process because the uh, Carista Evo device is reading everything off your ECU. It's checking the vehicle for available customizations, AKA everything that Toyota has hidden in their backgrounds that really only they could do with their little computers, right? But we are able to do it here. So I will go over though, as you can see in the garage. I was able to read the VIN and everything off of the truck, set it as Tundra TRD Pro 2019, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get another one in the future or something like that while I still have this one. And then we can just go into that truck, it's selected. So it is getting everything that is available for the customization. All right, so everything is loaded. We're gonna go ahead and go on into customize. And as you will see with the Tundra, we don't have any fake engine noise stuff like we did on the Land Cruiser, nor do we have active noise cancellation. However, if we do go back into dings and warnings, the seatbelt stuff is there, which we can turn off on this vehicle. This is something too, if you have like a third gen Tundra, you may want to uh, go into your HVAC stuff. You could actually kind of turn it down. People have been doing that with this app too, to be able to make your uh, AC run a little bit cooler. Uh, in your Tundra as well. One thing that I do want to add to this truck, like we did with the Land Cruiser, was open windows and sunroof by unlocking and holding the key. I guess that was already enabled in this truck. Some of this stuff you can ask your dealerships to do, but it is sometimes a hassle with them. So it seems like that was already turned on uh, with this truck. I know my 4Runner doesn't have that, so that's definitely something I'll be turning on uh, with the 4Runner as well. And then one thing that is nice for those that maybe they don't like the annoying beep beep Toyota sound is uh, if you want it to beep when locking and unlocking your vehicle, you can actually turn that off here or if it's way too loud for you, you can go into the volume here and this truck can actually be louder with its little beep beep that it has. So we can turn it down or turn it up with this uh, function as well. I had no idea that we could really do that. A lot of cool features that not only can we do to this Tundra, but you could do to the 4Runner, you could do to your Land Cruiser, you could do to whatever Toyota vehicle you have uh, through this Carista stuff. And you can also diagnose uh, your vehicle if it's having issues and to live data as well. So I plan on potentially towing with this Tundra. Uh, I plan on doing road trips with this Tundra. So maybe this is a device that I would like to have plugged into my truck at all times when I'm doing that, especially because it is older. It is a reliable truck, but it is older just to make sure that everything is working as advertised with it. So Carista, thank you so much for sending this out. Guys, again, links and discount code down in the description for you all. I appreciate you watching and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.